Hi everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. I've got some lovely, lovely leftover paints. Um, I did this painting with these really pastel spring colours recently um, and I've got some of the colours left over. Um, they've got some oil in them, some a coconut milk hair serum. Um, so I'm going to try something a bit different. I'm going to try a ring pour. I'm going to use my split cup, ring pour, and then I'm going to torch but only in certain places, just to create some cells, just to hopefully add to the design I'm going to create. Um, so re I love I love using um, using up leftovers because I haven't got really expectate high expectations. So really anything could happen. So really looking forward to enjoying this pour. These are all my leftover paints. So I've got two greens, and they're based on Earth Green by Pebio. I've got a purple. Um, and a pinky colour. They're custom colours, so I've mixed them from some Amsterdam paints. I've got Naples Yellow Deep, but mixed with some white, so it's a bit lighter. I've got Sky Blue Light, but with a bit of white, so it's lighter. And then I've just got some white. Now, all the paints have got coconut milk hair serum in, which was from this bottle, so it's, so it's an oil. So when I use my blowtorch and heat it, it will create some cells at the end. I'm going to use my five chamber split cup and I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do a ring pour and then just torch it in very specific places at the end so that it won't be covered in cells. I don't think it will just have some cells in just some specific places. So at the bottom half of my split cup, I'm going to use these colours that are closest to me. So they're the lighter colours. And then around the outside, I'm going to fill it up with some purple, purple, and then the, the darker of the greens. So I'm, I'm not quite sure how much paint I've got left here. So I'm just going to pour it in. I just want to make sure that each chamber is reasonably level. It doesn't have to be full. It just has to be reasonably level um, compared to the other chambers. So total change of plan, I've now got a 25 by 50 centimetre canvas. I'm going to put some tape around the edge because I'm, as I pour into the centre, it will really likely go over the, it will want to go over these edges. And I will want it to go over the edges at some point, but not until all the paint is on the canvas. So this will help keep the paint on the canvas so I can then tilt the canvas around a lot more easily. Right, so let's try, see what this will look like as a ring pour. So I've got different colours on the bottom half to the top half. So to start with, this is going to come out very purple with a bit of green. But then towards the centre, I'm hoping I'll get the yellow and the blues. So let's just get all the colours starting to come out. Yep, so just green and purple so far. I'm just twisting my hand around a little bit. It doesn't really matter at the moment because this is going to be all probably tilted off. And But it's just quite nice to get the paint moving around a bit. And also, look, I'm just turning. I've just tried turning. So I'm now spinning and uh, clockwise, in fact. Let's go back anti-clockwise. Actually, wouldn't that just be pretty? The greens and the purple. Right. Oh, blue's coming through. Now I want to finish soon, so I'm just tipping the, the cup backwards. Oh, oh, it suddenly stopped. Um, so I thought, oh, quickly get it away. Oh, then I've dripped. That, that won't matter because that drip there won't show. That will be off over the edge. Now to get a really neat centre, it's actually quite neat, but I'm just going to go around with a, the point of a push pin just to bring that into a circle. 
Right, so far so good. Um, there's lots of air bubbles, but obviously I'm not going to uh, torch it because of the silicon in here. So we'll save that for the end. Right, so first of all, let's just try and get this canvas covered. Um, I'm not going to go off over this edge yet. In fact, should I go off over that edge? Do you know what I could do is put some tape down just along that end edge get it all covered and then if there's enough paint in there when I take the tape off it should just fall over that edge let's try that Right, I'm just going to take this off. Yeah, and I can see that it's pouring down the edge, which is which is great. So let's take off all the bits of tape. Right, composition is a bit odd at the moment because I've got this lovely dark bit here and I'd quite like to keep that dark bit. I'd also quite like to keep the centre. And I'd like to keep some of this yellow. So I think if I could stretch it back this way, remove some of the paint that's nearest me and maybe some of this edge here, I think I would be quite happy with that. So let, I'm just going to tilt it towards me a bit. Get rid of some of that big white band. That's pretty because that's bringing out the dark purple near me. And then let's go off this way a bit. And then let's just have a look. So there's a big cell popped up there. I think I might tilt it so I try and remove that and then I will torch afterwards and then I'll obviously get a lot more cells. But I think I'm just going to, there's quite a lot of paint on this canvas still. So I think I'm just going to tilt some of this off and then bring it back. I'd like it, I think, to be an off-centre design. Yeah, like that. That is really pretty. Something's in my paint now. I'll get that out. Because it's not symmetrical, because you've got this great big purple section here, um, I like it to be off-centre. I don't want it to be, um, I don't want to keep that in the centre at all. Right, I'm absolutely loving this. Um, I'm now going to torch, which in some ways is a bit of a shame. But in other ways, I'm hoping to add to it a little bit. So to torch, I'm not torching everywhere. I'm going to torch just in certain places. Um, like, for example, I'm going to torch, I think to start with, there's a big white panel here. I'm just going to do a line of cells there, see what happens. Line of torching there just to see what happens. Now that's really pretty because I've got some blue coming up there through that. I think I'm going to go with this dark green band because that's quite a chunky band there. Just very lightly. This really is less is more and I find it really difficult to do less because I always get carried away with torching. This is so cool. I really managed to restrain myself and not over torch. I've got my son here with me and he says, Mummy, you always overdo it with everything. So stop torching, put the torch down. And I, and I have. So I'm quite proud of myself. I haven't gone too mad. The reason I don't want to go too mad with the torch is because, look, I want to keep these beautiful lines and the beautiful details of the ring pour. But then I love the lines next to the cells. Love it. More lines more cells so the yellow i don't think i've torched any yellow and i think that works brilliantly because that yellow just shines through the bigger blocks of white 
are now interspersed with some blue and some green cells so so pretty that was a massive cell there um so i've just torched it um really pretty little detail here on the edge that blue i want to keep that so i'm not torching that um this band i love so a bit of white purple and green that is just so beautiful and then because this purple was so such a chunky purple section i just torched it and interestingly only the purples come through because oh probably because that was the very top of the cup oh look at that bright bright green line through it wow that really stands out um but yeah so just some a bit of mottled color there in the center of that purple but wow what a cool painting really love this idea of having lines next to cells in one pore in one piece um, I think when it's dry, that dark purple will annoy me because I'm not sure about the composition of it. But I don't I didn't want to tilt off the purple. Um, in fact, I could always reintroduce a bit more of the deeper purple over here just by shading in the lines if I wanted to just to balance it a bit more. Uh, but yeah, really happy with it. Really cool painting. So I'll be back when it's dry. So here it is dry. I absolutely love it. And I think the, the main reason is because it's so soft and peaceful and tranquil. So, so different from my normal paintings. Um, I poured it the other way up. I think I would rather hang it this way. Um, I just quite like having the darker section at the top and the lighter, at the, sorry, at the bottom and the lighter at the top. And that just works quite well, I think. Um, let me show you the details. I'll show you the centre to start with. Um, so as you might remember, I didn't interfere with the centre. So the centre I just left, so it's just natural. Um, just didn't touch the yellow bits. I love the yellow because it's just so bright. But then just look at these beautiful cells. They're really stripy cells, lots of lines through them. So I just love the combination of lines and cells. Um, because I just I just think it breaks it up. It just looks really pretty, really interesting. Look at that pink and yellow there. Really like that. And I kept my little blue corner there. And then my favourite cells, I think, have to be here. Pink, sorry, purple and green next to each other. And it's interesting because you can just see where the cells are pushing the lines apart and distorting them and squashing them. So really, really happy with this result, considering this was just my leftovers. Um, and what a fun idea, just um, putting different colours in the split cup, the top and the bottom, just to, just to simply use up paint. Um, so really happy. Please let me know what you think. Um, if you like it, please do hit the thumbs up button. Please do subscribe to my channel. Great. Take care, everyone. Bye.